All right, so my text to 3D object prompt has completed. Uh, in this particular case, I asked it to create a knight with a sword inside the actual add-on for Blender uh, using the API uh, backend to do the request. So it finished here. This is what it generated. It created a knight with a sword. in the text prompt. So in this video I'm going to show you how to um, set up your add-on so that you have this little toolbar that's coming up here on the side so you could do either image to 3D object or text to 3D object and at the end I'm going to test the generate textures because a lot of people were asking about the generate textures. Alright so here I'm going to show you how to set up the blender add-on so you could actually do your prompt text to 3D object directly inside Blender. If we go back into our file system where the Hungyang 3D final build is located, uh, there's an add-ons folder. And this is the default one, the Blender, Blender underscore add-on. The one that I've modified is the Blender add-on mod. And you could get it actually by clicking the support link and going to posted solutions I have created a zip file. So this is the one we're going to load into here. So we'll go into Blender, Edit Preferences. Um, right up here, you're going to hit this little arrow pointing down, Install from Disk. Go to wherever you have your drive located here. Uh, go into the Add-ons folder and then um, load this one, Install from Disk. So once it's done installing, um, it should pop up here on the side here. So that's the first part. The next part, now if we go back to our folder inside the top level directory, this one's the default, the one that says API underscore server, and this one's the new modded version. So for that, let's type in CMD up here. Uh, let's go ahead and run Python, and we're going to run API underscore mod. We're going to run that version. We'll give it a second to start up here. All right, now that it finished starting up, the server is right here on this port 8081. So now here in Blender, you want to make sure that this reads 8081. And right here, now you could do a text uh, prompt. So let's do um, 1911 pistol text prompt uh, with the texture. You want to check the texture and then generate. You're going to get this message here. If you check the command prompt, it should say worker generating and it should start. Okay, so now the second test has finished. It was about 41 minutes with the texturing. I have it set to the resolution 256 and these all standard. For the second model, I did the medieval woman in a nightgown and it was able to produce this. Now if we go into the shading portion, you could tell that it actually generated the texture. Even though it looks a little bit weird, but it was able to generate the texture for the second um, text to 3D object here. Well that's the end of this video. Uh, thank you for watching. If you guys have any more questions, uh, leave it in the comments below. I will get back to you. Again, I appreciate everybody's likes, um, comments and all the support that you have shown for these videos that I have been posting. And I'll see you in the next video.